hujambo um, sasa hivi tunaenda kujifunza kitenzi kuwa na uh, ni kitenzi muhimu tena msingi usiwa kwa lugha ya Kiswahili tu bali pia na hata kwa lugha nyingine za ulimwengu uh, kwa hiyo uh, ni vizuri uh, kujifunza somo hili uh, we are going to learn the verb to have which is the important verb and uh, the basic not only to the Swahili but also to the other languages uh, tujiye kwiga rero inshinga kugira uh, ni inshinga ingenzi uh, atari ku rurimi rw'igiswahili gusa ahubwo uh, no, no, no kuzindi ndimi uh, ni ingenzi cyane rero uh, ni byiza ko mukurikira iri somo uh, ariko ntimwibagirwe gukora subscribe na share please don't forget to subscribe and share sawa thank you mukuriki um kitenzi kuna verb to have in english yes verb to have uh we have a notebook first we memorize personal pronouns below because are they used to conjugate even other Swahili verbs. So here we have uh, subject or and the personal pronouns that you have to memorize first in order uh, to know how to conjugate not only verb to have but also other Swahili verbs. It is very important. Ahano dufite dufite ni nk'inyuguti ni inyuguti ugomba kugufata mu mutwe kugira ngo ube wabasha kumenya gukonjiga cyangwa gukoresha inshinga zo mu giswahili uh, hari izo mu guhakana we have affirmative form uh, personal pronouns to be memorized and we have negative form so it is important to memorize these uh, personal pronouns uh, because it uh, they will be used not only to the verb to have but also other remaining swahili verbs but for me meme meme must froze by ni wewe this is the affirmative form wewe froze by u wewe u mimi ni yeji a sis tu nyiny mu harafu wao wa wao wa that is in affirmative form nuvuga ngo mu ndango yemeza mu gihe uri kwemera icyambere ugomba kubanza kumenya gufata ko mimi umuvugo wa mbere buri gihe ukurikirana na ni mimi ni ntago bavuga ngo mimi a ni nkuko mu kinyarwanda tutavuga ngo njewe aja uvuga njewe nja ni ntago bavuga ngo njewe tujya oya njewe nja we wowe uja ntago bavuga ngo wowe aja cyangwa wowe nja oya rero no mu giswahili utugomba kudufata ni gucya dukurikirana so muri mu guhakana mu guhakana ugomba kumenya yuko ku mvugo wa mbere ari si mimi si mimi si nkuko mu kinyarwanda naho uvuga ngo njewe si ni nk'ikinyarwanda njewe si nkunda ntago bavuga ngo njewe njewe ntukunda oya hano bwo bwo ngo njewe ntakunda njewe sinkunda ubwaho no guhakana wowe ntukunda mu giswahili ho rero wewe mu guhakana ikurikirana na hu yeye ha sisi hatu nyinyi hamu wawo hawa ngubwa ngo nimwitegereza neza hano murabona ko uh, murabona ko eh uretse hano kumuvugo wa mbere 
ni ihindu kasi iyo hakana no mu kinyarwanda niko bimeze hmm? uvuze ngo karisa ni umunyeshuri mu guhakana oh, karisa si si umunyeshuri rero no mu giswahili ni impakanya yayo ni si eh rero ni witegereza neza urasanga handi hasiga yuretsa kumvugo wa mbere ari habagiye bongeraho gusa ko urabona kumvugo wa kabiri wewe u bashyizeho ha none no kubera ko ifite inyajwi ntago ntago bashyiraho inyajwe byiri eh bihita bibaho iyo ha iva iyo a ivaho hanyuma hi isigaye dafite inyajwi ihura ni yihu bibaho na hano kuri ani ko byagenze hashyizeho ha ihasanga indi imwe ivaho biba ha ahasigayeho rero kubera ko hatangizwa ni ngomba jwi e bashyizeho ha yuzuye tu hatu mu hamu wa hawa nuvuga ngo impamvu twagiye dushyira aho tuno dutire tutuntu kuturongo nuko hari ibihita bikurikiraho ariko tunihame nitwo tubanza e nitwo tubanza so uh, when you are negating you have to know that at the first pronoun mim it follows by si mimi si at the second we we who ye ye ha si si hatu nyinyi hamu wao hawa so when you you look carefully you see that only uh, to the first uh, pronoun ni changes to c but the other remaining pronouns they, they they have used the ha 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 but because here we have another vowel ha cannot be used while the a a cannot be used while the is u they can't use two vowels so they remove the a then ha remaining ha join u then they become who it's like uh, the third third single pronoun is ha but here from the first uh, pronoun of purura because they are started by by consonant they put ha which is complete and then they become for the first hatu the second hamu the third hawa hawa so you have to memorize this then we are going to show examples some examples where we have used uh, verb to 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 have eh? including this uh, pronoun and uh, we are going to see how they are used uh, within the sentences atuje kureba rero ikintu bikurikirana dukoresheje inshinga kuba turebe ukuntu iyi izi nyine ni u a tu mu wa zagezizamo no guhakana si hu ha hatu hamu hawa uburyo zikoreshwa hano hasi rero hari ingero eh hari ingero eh examples in affirmative mimi mimi ni nakaramu mimi ni nakaramu you see here mimi ni mimi ni you see mimi ni mimi ni then in a negative form mimi sinakaramu si mimi si because the first pronoun ona uko hano kuri mimi ni ni ninyi ni hitukurikira nkuko twabibonye hejo wahakana hagaheta kurikira ho si sinakaramu bisobanuye ngo hano mu mukwemera iyi interesobanuye ngo ngewe mfite karamu ni nakaramu 
noneho mu guhakana ngewe simfite ikalamu mimi sina kalamu aha noneho rero interuro ya kabiri iravuga ngo wewe una daftari wewe una daftari wewe una daftari urabona ko hano hari u niyiti kurikira inyoma nyine y'umuvugo you see after subject pronoun u flows as i have explained above u then in affirmative yeah in negative we have seen that who is the negative of who we put who then it becomes who then in negative this sentence uh should should become yes a uh, became wewe we who huna huna daftari wewe we huna daftari you see who as it it's negative then we have we have a third we have a third sentence nerura ya gatatu ravuga ngo yeye anachak yeye anachak eh hari ya hejuru ariko daftari bisobanuye ikalamu bisobanuye ikai ni ikai ntabwo ari ikalamu wewe una daftari bisobanuye ngo wowe ufite ikai noneho wewe huna daftari bisobanuye ngo wowe ntufite ikai ego aha yeye anachak yeye anachak we afite ingwa chak ni ingwa urona ko hano kuri yeye naho haisa kurikiraho a nkuko na twabivuze haruguru a yeye a we a ni nk'ikinyarwanda we afite karamu ntago bavuga ngo we ufite karamu ntibijyana ntano bavuga ngo we ufite karamu oya we afite karamu a rero mu guhakana mu guhakana mu guhakana hano yeye hana chak yeye hana chak ona yaha ihakana nyine e we ntafite ingwa we ntafite ingwa mhm for the next sentence sisi tuna mak makalamu sisi tuna makalamu sis tu si tu twebwe dufite amakalamu so in negative form that two becomes hatu hatu sisi hatu twebwe nidu nidufite so this ha si ha nidufite amakaramu hmm. for the next sentence nyinyi nyinyi muna madaftari mu as I have explained above, mm. nyinyi froze by mu. Mm. Nyinyi nyine ikurichana mu. Nyinyi miso anuye eh, mwebge. Mwana hago wafuga ngo mwebge dofite dofite amakai. Oye, lafuga mwebge mu mufita makai. Nyingi chinyarwa mwebge mu mufita makai. Eh, mugu hakana rero, lafuga ngo nyinyi hamuna madaftari. Nyinyi hamuna madaftar e numva ngo ha hamu e ona ko ashize ho ha isanga ya mu ita biba hamu nimufite ama amakai madaftari na amakai daftari ni kai byagiye mu bwinshi kuberana nabo babaye benshi so the last sentence wao wana chat wao wana chat wa 
bo bafite ingwa ingwa zo nago zijya mu bwinshi ziguma kubingwa so in the negative form we say we say wao hawana chak wao hawana chak ha hawa hawa bo ni bafite ingwa you see that those personal pronouns are are being shown within sentences so in the negative and the affirmative so for the first for the first pronoun you see that we say mimi 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 nina karam mimi sina karam in negative wewe una daftari in affirmative wewe una daftari negative yeye ana chak yeye hana chak sisi tuna makalamu sisi hatuna makalamu mhm mm ah uh, nyinyi muna madaftari nyinyi hamuna madaftari as uh, i have explained here on uh, uh, personal pronouns which should be used either in negative and the affirmative you see that they are used automatically while conjugating verb not only to to the verb to have but also to other verbs in swahili ntabwo rero izi ututuntu nababwiye mufata ni ni nyajwe ni ngomba ni nyuguti muri muri maki ugomba kumenya yuko buri gihe zikurikirana ni iyi mivugwa yazo iri hano numara kubifata neza uko bikurikirana nibwo uzamenya gukonjiga inshingi yari yo yose yo mu giswahili rero hano hari ingero buryo zagiye zikuriza zikoreshwa abonye ko ni yo bahakana ni si e u ibitibaho a ihitibaha tu ihitibaha tu e hatu ahangaha hagomba ahangaha hagomba ni hatu tu yose na tu ijamu ntagari hayo nyine ni hatu e hano kuri nyinyi mu bahanye ko yabaye hamu noneho wawo iba hawa kutunumara kudufata inshinga yose uh, yo mu giswahili uzayisho eh rwose rwose murabona ko uh, yinshinga ni ingenzi eh ni ingenzi mugomba kuyiga neza kuko muzajya muyikoresha kenshi ikindi kingenzi kurushaho no gufata ututuntu tunyuguti kuko uh, tuzadukoresha no kuzindi shinga zose tugiye kuziga mm. Uh, following, uh, I think this was the important lesson. Uh, thank you so much for following. Uh, we shall meet to the next occasion. Uh, learning how we can conjugate different verbs uh, of Swahili. Na washukuru sana kwa kufuata leo. Tutaonana wakati mingine kwa wakati wa kapo kuwa tunasoma jinsi ya matumizi ya nyakati kwa vitenzi tofauti ya kiswahili kwa hiyo na washukuru sana kwa kwa za etu za wana nubutaha tulikuiga kutuja wa kunjiga mtangwa wa koresha ibihe kushi ingazitandu kanyezi kiswahili kwa kwa za bye bye kwa hee